I'm going to soften it around in little circles just to create that kind of a misty feeling in the sky. You see that? Now I'll try to turn my hand so you can see what I'm doing here. I don't want to be blocking the canvas with my hand, if you understand what I mean. Okay, that's not bad. There we go. Nice misty feeling up in that sky. Now what I'm going to do next is just give my brush a quick clean. I'm going to dip it in some turpentine and just rub it on some tissue, get some of that paint off. And what I'm going to do then is just go right into some white and I'm just going to start adding a little touch of white in here and there. You can see I'm just sort of shaking the brush around, letting the brush dance around on the canvas. That's really all I'm doing. All right, I'm not focusing on trying to paint actual clouds. This is just to create that lovely misty feeling up in the sky. That's all it is, okay? Just be very, very loose. Clean the brush, go back into some white. So you can see now, it's just these little touches of white cloud popping into that misty sky here and there. Now, you could even leave it at that. And then let's take a soft brush. I have a soft little fan brush here. It's a makeup brush, but it's fine. It'll do the job. I'm just going to soften some of that out. Just to take the rough kind of brush strokes off of the canvas, that's all. So it's still nice and soft, but you can see the some of the brush strokes almost showing through. See what I mean? Now, that's done. Right in there, look. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Creating these lovely dark areas. Now, I'm going to take some magenta and some blue because I want to add a hint of a kind of a pinky color a pinky purpley shadowy color in there as well just hold this canvas here making a bit of noise Right, I'll stop at that. Then I'm going to go really dark. Now, I'm going to take some phthalo blue. And I'm not using any thinners in this, okay, whatsoever. Phthalo blue, some magenta, and a little black. Now, be careful with the black because the black is very powerful. It's a very, very powerful colour. Just be careful. And I'm going to pop that colour in here right in there so that now will give us a beautiful white waterfall and it'll really bring out the lights won't it and then just soften it kind of outwards you see just soften it outwards into the rest of the painting that's all i'm doing then i'll take some black and magenta and i'll go really dark just in around here okay just by the water i want that really dark to give us some nice contrast. See what I mean? Then I'm going to take some black and a hint of blue. And I'm just going to go nice and dark in. You see that nice dark spot in there? Touch of dark here and there. Now as it comes down, you can see it goes nice shade of there's a nice shade of brown down there, isn't there? Let's take some burnt umber brown sienna and some Naples yellow. You have a nice Touch of a brown, warm brown kind of coming in to the painting down here. And you can see the way it's just disappearing through all the water. You don't have to be absolutely perfect now with all of this, okay? Just dab a little bit of brown around here and there, you see? Just a little there, perhaps a little there. And I think that's all we need. We'll worry about the highlights last because what I want to do next is put in this water here. And then we'll work our highlights on top of our greens. And that will push the waterfall back slightly. So, water. Water is always tricky. I'm actually going to soften, just soften this down here into that mist. Okay? Just first. Soften it away down. Let's do this lovely water. Um, I'm thinking now which is the easiest way and the best way to create this lovely water. We could use a palette knife. Um, yes, we could. Or we could use a small flat brush. Should we try the small flat brush first and see how that goes? 
let's try the small stubby. I'm going to get some white. Now I'm going to mix a very bright color for this. Um, I might take a hint of this pink, just a hint of it, okay? So it's not just pure, pure white. It's a very light pink, purpley pink. Let's start and just start putting in the suggestion of the water just coming down like that each time i do this i rub my brush on some tissue just to take off the dirty color i want to keep it nice and bright okay and we can really just kind of i suppose go our own with this and what i'm doing is as i'm putting this on i'm kind of twisting my brush okay let me show you so i put it on and i twist my brush and that gives you that nice hard edge on the water you see what I mean? Creamy colour up here. Nice hard edge on that. Around. Top of the waterfall there, okay? Just to help it sort of sit up there. Okay? That's much better now, isn't it? I'll then take some black and a hint of blue and just add a touch of darkness up there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take some nice bright greens and I want to separate this line from the back waterfall so I want to just make this more pronounced. So I'm just going to take some cadmium yellow. I've no turpentine by the way, just nice rich cadmium yellow with a hint of burnt cyanide. And I'm just going to add dabs of that. I'm leaving it overlap that back waterfall. You see that? Just slightly here and there. And that pushes the back waterfall then just back slightly, doesn't it? Okay. This is coming on nicely, isn't it? And we're taking our time. We're not rushing or anything this is nice i like this kind of pace the next thing i'm going to do with my big waterfall here is just start with my fan brush okay start pulling it down and you can see i'm going into this slightly okay i'm going right into that green slightly with my fan brush look because i want to create that sort of misty waterfall look just towards the end See, so I'm pulling all this down with my fan brush. Now there. I'm just going to fix the exposure on this for a moment. Do bear with me. Okay. Then I'm going to mix a darker colour with my fan brush. Just I want to create some more shading on this. Okay, it's just not enough. So I'm going to take some blue, magenta, and hint of black. And I just want to put in a hint of more shading on this. You can see, especially down here, a little bit through the middle as well. I just wanted to add that little bit of shading. Rather than having just pure white everywhere, that little bit there just makes a big difference. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take some of that white, okay? And I'm just going to add some little bits of waterfalls. Overlapping some of these. Um, if anything, I suppose, just to give it a little thickness. You know what I mean? Just a little more thickness. And then I'll use my fan brush, you see, to pull these down. So I'll take my fan brush and then I'll just simply pull those down. Now 
Now let me get some more and I'll create some nice thick ones. Isn't this fun? Just grabbing a fan brush and dragging some paint down. So now we have some nice texture on that waterfall, don't we? Let's move on and get this finished here. I think we just concentrate on this for now and we can we can finish off bits and pieces later, can't we? Let's take some burnt umber and some Naples yellow and some cadmium yellow. Okay, I better thin it slightly just to give it a little more movement. I'll add some Naples yellow to the outside here to see where it gets kind of softer. I'm going to darken it even more with some blue, some black, hint of yellow. Okay, we're going to go nice and dark. And put nice, some nice real dark greens in here. And you can see I'm just simply mixing all this together on the canvas. I'm letting the palette knife do the work. So you don't then have to really worry about, you know, getting exact shapes and all that kind of thing. So I clear my palette knife now and I go right into some cadmium yellow on its own. Now I do have a little bit of green already on my palette. You see that? So I'm just mixing it in. But I really want a nice bright green. Just take lots of cadmium yellow. And just start adding some highlights. There. How's that? I'm going to move on to my water because I'm anxious through the water. Um, it looks just so relaxing and inviting, that water, doesn't it? I'm going to concentrate on that now. Let me get another brush here. Um, what brush could I use for this? I'll start with this big one here, yes? Let's mix a nice green for this. Thalo blue. Some white. Now these are quite dark, these colours. Some of that green. I'm going to mix a nice turquoise. Yes, I'll go with that first. Look. Let's go right across here with that. Then it gets slightly warmer over here, doesn't it? Take some let the brush dance around on the canvas. Okay, let me sit back. Now I'm going to soften this. Just left to right, okay? I'm going to soften this in first. Really well towards the top. Soften it right in. Then I'm moving on to a very small pointy brush. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take some yellow blue and some white. Maybe a hint of magenta. Why not? Come on, let's just try it. Go for a nice light pink. And let's just start creating these little wiggles. Just one or two. Well, not one or two, but, you know, I'm not going absolutely crazy with all of this. It's just to catch some reflections. That's all. Just give it a hint of you know, a little bit of movement in the water, that's all. You don't have to be too particular with all of this. But I do like to just you know, add a little bit of detail here and there. Bring a few outwards as well. Don't be shy. You know, just to... Uh, Encourage the eye to move across. That's all, that's all you're doing. You're encouraging the eye to move across. 
move across the canvas. You see what I mean? Just a little. Now for the final step on that, if you want, you can just grab your palette knife. Let's give it a good clean. Grab the palette knife like this, yes? And let's just grab some nice bright colour paint. And let's just drag it and swoop it from left, from right to left actually. See that? It goes crazy with this. I think that's fine. Then we have a couple more coming in on the left, don't we? Let's just, for the sake of the composition, let's just add a few in on the left in here, just coming into the painting. I think that would really help. I'll try some Born Sienna with this one, just to make it slightly warmer. And there's not too much branches in this. It's really more so foliage than anything else, isn't it? Just give it a couple of squiggles, look. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, you see? That'll do fine. And then, we'll mix a nice green. Again, let's do the palette knife. Come on. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's get some more sienna and cadmium yellow. Mix ourselves a nice warm colour for the final piece of this painting. I'll start with this warm colour first look. Just give it a couple of flicks. And I'm going to get more yellow, make a nice green, yes? So I do hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I really, really do. It's been an absolute pleasure painting this. I must say, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself painting this today. I really have. It's like a breath of fresh air. Now let's give some nice solid brush strokes look, or knife strokes should I say. Let's imagine there are nice big thick leaves. Go right in there, look, leave nice thick paint on the canvas. Don't be shy. Grab more yellow. So we have some lighter ones here and there. 